Time wasted on repetitive tasks is time you could have spent being creative. If you've been changing frequently used Windows settings manually, you're doing it the hard way. Here's an automation I created that in a single click can toggle my main display from one device to another, change the DPI scaling, and hide the taskbar. You can use automations like this to modify all sorts of controls in Windows and your favorite applications. This automation was created using Microsoft Power Automate, which is free for Windows 10 and comes installed in Windows 11. I've covered this software in a separate video, so check that out first if you're new to automation. Before I show you how to build the automation, let me first describe the problem it is solving for me. Because of the large drawing tablet I use and the arrangement of my desk, I am often unable to see the lower regions of my other displays. In Windows 10, I used to be able to place my taskbar at the top of my display, which made it visible at all times. Windows 10 also allowed me to move the taskbar to a display that is not my main display. This is important because I record my screen, and I don't want the taskbar showing or popping up if it is hidden. In Windows 11, I am forced to show the taskbar on the main display. Since the taskbar can only be at the bottom of a display, that rules out my preferred monitor. Ideally, the taskbar is somewhat centered so I can easily glance at it, so that also eliminates my display that is off to the far right as well. And because I don't want the taskbar interfering with my recordings, I can't have it on my Cintiq either. So that leaves my third display as the only option. Fortunately, I am able to center the taskbar icons because this display is obscured in the bottom left. My third display is not ideal, but unless Windows 11 patches this problem, I am kind of stuck with it. This solution had worked for a while, but recently I have run into a new issue. My preferred digital art application does not work well when I am using it on anything but my main display. When palettes are opened, they tend to appear on the wrong screen, or can even become hidden where they cannot be moved. This requires me to designate my Cintiq as my main display anytime I want to paint in this application, then switch back to my monitor when I am done. It's not terribly difficult to do this. You simply click a dozen times on various controls, and the display is switched. But because I'm using this application daily, I end up switching displays a lot over the course of a few months. This small amount of time adds up, and that's not to mention that after doing it a thousand times, it starts to feel tedious. Especially so when you add in a change to the UI scaling, which is necessary to make my screen recordings easier to see. But as a Power Automate user, I also know that this is a task I don't need to waste my time on. So let's see how I built this automation, and how much easier it makes it to switch displays. Prior to this Windows 11 taskbar issue, I had already been using an automation to switch the DPI scaling, but I have recently made a much simpler version of it, which I will show you shortly. I've also learned how to create subflows and trigger multiple flows, which has helped in testing automations while keeping them organized. My automation starts with a main flow called Switch to Cintiq, which triggers several other flows in a sequence. These flows have subflows within them. A subflow is a way to group sections of flows together to organize them so you don't have one massive flow. The main flow in Switch to Cintiq begins by waiting one second. These wait periods ensure that if your computer lags, the automation does not get ahead of it. You may want to adjust these to suit your preference. Next, it runs a separate flow called Toggle Cintiq Main Display, waits three more seconds, runs a separate flow called Enlarge UI Scaling, waits another three seconds, and then runs a final separate flow called Show Hide Taskbar. Let's dive into these separate flows to see what they are doing. Toggle Cintiq Main Display has a main flow which triggers three subflows in a sequence. Open Display starts by pressing and releasing the Windows key. This opens the Windows Start menu. Next, a wait of one second. I would disable web recommendations and cloud content in the search permissions, as it can create lag which may interrupt your flow. If you don't wish to do that, you can increase the wait period to something more like three seconds to account for that lag. Next, I will send keys, and in the foreground window, I will send DUPL as hardware keys with 10 milliseconds of delay between keys. This will type DUPL into the start menu, which will locate the duplicate display setting. This is really just a shortcut to the display settings menu. After that, I will wait two seconds, then send the return key to open the display settings menu. 
and then one more wait for two more seconds, so there is a pause between this subflow and the next. The next subflow that will be triggered is change main, which starts by sending keys. Tab can be used to navigate through menu options, and space will click on the option. I'll have the automation press tab nine times, then space once. This will navigate to the multiple displays menu in the display settings, and then space will toggle the menu open. To verify this will work as expected, try manually entering the start menu with the Windows key, press DUPL, press return, then press tab nine times. Do you end up on the arrow next to multiple displays? If not, start over and count how many tabs it takes to get there. That's how many you should be adding. Next is a wait of one second, then another send keys that presses tab once, followed by one space. This navigates down to the checkbox and enables it. After that, the final subflow will be triggered, which is close window. This starts by pressing the Alt key. Until I perform the release command, Alt and other modifiers like it will continue to be held down. If the flow does not complete, this key may be stuck down. To release any stuck keys, press them on your keyboard. If I follow up that holding of the Alt key with Send Keys and choose F4, that will invoke the shortcut of Alt plus F4. This will close the active window, which will close the display settings. That's the end of this segment of the Toggle Cintiq main display part of the primary flow. There's a wait of three seconds, and then the next flow that will be triggered is in Large UI Scaling 2.0, which triggers three subflows in a sequence. I could have combined this flow with the previous flow before closing the display settings, but I prefer to keep them separate because sometimes I may want to change the UI scaling or main display independently of each other. The first subflow, Open DPI, is very similar to the Open Display subflow from the previous flow. It will open the Start menu with the Windows key, then release it. It will wait one second. Then it will send the keys DPI to highlight the Change the Size of Text option. Another wait of one second. Then a return to open the Control Panel, followed by a wait of one second. This opens the display settings and automatically navigates to the DPI scaling property. The next subflow triggered is called Change DPI Higher. This sends the keys space down space, which expands the DPI menu, moves down to the correct scaling, and then activates it. This is followed by a wait of one second. The third subflow will be triggered next. This is identical to the closed window subflow already created, so just copy and paste the elements to duplicate it. After a three second wait, the final flow that will run is Show Hide Taskbar, which does not contain any subflows. Just like with the previous flows, I'm using the Windows key to open the Windows Start menu, waiting one second and then sending keys. Again, you can copy and paste these elements from other flows rather than creating them from scratch. The keys I will send this time are A-U-T-O-M-A-T-I-C-A. However, if you're using the October 2022 version of Windows 11, you'll need to enter H-I-D-E space T instead. This will highlight the option to modify the taskbar properties. Wait one second, then send a return to open that menu and highlight the setting. Another one second wait, then a space to toggle the taskbar property to become hidden. Wait for one second again, then press and hold the Alt key followed by F4, then release Alt to close the window. And that's it, the automation is now ready to test. If you have not been saving along the way, please do so. Because I separated this flow into multiple flows and subflows, it will be easier to test because I can disable parts of it so it doesn't get out of control if it's not working correctly. To play it safe, I'd test each flow individually first to see if they are working. You can right-click on the subflows and disable the later parts for even more control. For example, in the Toggle Cintiq Main Display flow, I can disable Change Main and Close Window. Then test to see if the Open Display subflow executes correctly. If it does, enable Change Main and test the flow again from the beginning. If something does not work, you can narrow down which part of the flow is broken, and that will make it easier to fix. Just keep an eye on what's happening while the flows are running. Do you need more of a wait period between steps? If so, add more. If the tab-based navigation isn't working correctly and you're ending up in the wrong place, that was happening to me too. 
I think this is because when you enter display settings through the start menu shortcut, sometimes it will highlight system at the top of the window. But other times, search is what's highlighted. In my case, when I switch to my Cintiq, it starts from search, but when I switch back to the monitor, it starts from system. That will throw off your automation, and you will need to adjust the number of tabs you're using to navigate. Adjust the flow as needed until it's working as expected. Next, we will need to duplicate all these flows and modify them so we can revert back to the other display. As you can see, switch to monitor is identical to switch to Cintiq. It's a flow that triggers other flows. Those duplicate flows have been modified a bit, but are very similar to their counterparts. Toggle monitor main display has the quantity of tabs adjusted so that the monitor is selected instead of the Cintiq. Revert UI scaling moves the UI scaling in the opposite direction, up, and then show hide taskbar you don't even need to duplicate. It will just toggle back and forth as is. Hopefully after some final testing, both flows are working correctly, and with a single click, you can now toggle between displays while customizing the DPI scaling and taskbar behavior. There you have it, another automation to save you time. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out some of my other automation videos and consider becoming a member of this channel. Your support allows me to continue creating content creator focused videos like this. Thanks for watching and stay creative.